Hey everyone, and welcome to Troy's Crappy Movie Review. Today, we will be reviewing A Nightmare on Elm Street. And, um, basically, this is probably one of the uh, scarier in the series. This is part of the, uh, the, the set of Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the, um, comes with five, uh, comes with seven of them, and an extra encyclopedia. Pretty cool set. I got it for probably around 60 bucks. I love it. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is the first one and the second one are the best in the series, in my opinion, because they're the scariest. Freddy Krueger, the main guy in this, if you didn't know, the few of you that didn't, is um, <clears throat> a guy that haunts your nightmares in part one and two, as opposed to the rest of them where he's like a comedian that kills you, pretty much, from what I can grasp. Um, yeah, this one's definitely scariest. It stars Robert England as Freddy Krueger, and um, I can never pronounce your name right. Let's see here. Heather Langenkamp is Nancy, and uh, this is actually one of the first times uh, you see Johnny Depp. He's uh, This is his first starring role, and uh, he plays Nancy's boyfriend. Um, it was a really scary movie. Um, it starts off with a, a dream this girl has, and uh, Freddy's in it, and he's chasing after her. And um, it's just uh, goes from there to uh, him slaughtering a bunch of uh, teenagers in their dreams. And of course, Nancy has to put a stop to it. Nancy later on appears in a bunch of, well, not a bunch, I should say, she appears in part. Three, I do believe. Hold on a second. Make sure I know this for sure. Yeah, part three of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and part seven. I'm not sure if you classify it as that, but New Nightmare, where it's just about her and her son. I'll get into those reviews in a later date. But yeah, basically, yeah. If you can, uh, if you've never seen Nightmare on Elm Street, and you are a horror fan, or you just want to be scared, definitely get this one. It is. Definitely scary, and uh, it's way off from the uh, part three, four, five, and six. Uh, the new Nightmare one was pretty freaky too, but like I said, I'll get into that more later. Anyways, this is Troy for Cra Yeah, see, it's hard to say anything. Like, this is Troy for Troy's Crappy Movie Reviews, and yeah, there you go, Nightmare on the Street.